2005 to 2009 Toyota Corolla horn replacement and some diagnosis. So basically, here's your horn. This is what it looks like. This is a brand new one. Um, I'll have the part number in the description. This old one was busted and they broke the connector off. I'm also going to show you in this video how to repair, repair your wire. There, the Toyota actually sells a wire repair kit with a whole new connector. So I'm going to show you what's up with that. There's a part number for it. Uh, links in the description for everything. So if you're just doing a replacement, hopefully yours is not out in the open like this. I believe this is the 2005. The horn is in the open like this and you could just get to it right here. You could reach in here. It's just a 12 millimeter bolt and then the connector on the bottom. The connector has a little spot for your thumb. You push that down and then you're going to wiggle and pull this downwards. All right, like that. And then the, on the top is the 12 millimeter bolt. You're going to go ahead and get yourself a 12 millimeter wrench or socket, whatever you want to use, and then just loosen this. It'll be a little tight. Just go ahead and loosen this like that. And then uh, just with your other hand, just remove the horn like so and then uh there's your part number on this one and then you get your new one and then just put it in reverse how you did all right again links and descriptions for parts or tools so check that out now tighten that down and then you just put your connector back in be careful with the connector because like i've seen these break a lot on people so just be careful with it it could be kind of stubborn and kind of like weird but just you know put that in and then try it out and then you're good to go for that and that is for the 2005 now for the 2009 i have a corolla 2009 corolla le 12 millimeter but the horn is going to be harder to get to it's like in a tighter spot it's right here it's still right here but it's just harder to get to you might want to pull the front bumper forward a little bit after you loosen some stuff you can still get this in right here and loosen the bolt, but you might want to get it from underneath. Like, uh, I don't know if you have a splash shield on yours or not, but you want to reach up from underneath and disconnect the connector or just pull some of the bumper forward so you can reach in there and get it. That's another way to do it. Uh, same connector. It's just like this. This is a, a repaired wire harness. I'm going to show you how to repair it, but it would just be like this pretty much. Just You, you would just be uh, on the you know in this tight fit instead of the uh, original fit. So what you can do is loosen up the 10 millimeter bolts in the front of this bumper and then just kind of pull the front of the bumper outwards right here just loosen up you know the screws and and then hopefully you'll get enough room to get this 12 millimeter in here even if you don't do that if you have like skinny arms and small hands you could probably sneak it out this way right here um, or just or just loosen the uh, bolt and let the old one drop down and then get it from there and then, but putting in your new one, you're gonna have to come in from the top and squeeze in through here at some point. This is the 2009. Um, but yeah, this one was old, it stopped working, it was busted. So, uh, you know, that's how to do it. And then you'd get your new horn right here. I'll uh, put part numbers and uh, links in the description. This is my new one, this is from Toyota. All right. So uh, I got it connected here. This is after I did the wire harness repair. I'll get to that in just a sec. And then once I, you get this connected, you'll just hang this down here and then put the 12 millimeter bolt in. Go ahead and get this guy down there. And then we'll just uh, get the bolt in there, hand started, and then just tighten this down. Pretty easy for a car, to be honest. Um, other cars, like Fords and stuff, aren't this simple. So uh, that's how you install it. Now let's talk about the wire harness repair and diagnosis. So first thing, all right, so the wire harness first, when you get it, uh, the kit, you wanna put it together, the little wire goes into the connector. Once you have it in the connector, uh, you just wanna measure it, make sure it has continuity from front to back. All right, that's about what it should be. And then you want to strip the end of the uh, wire on the repair kit. It's a brown wire. And then the wire on the car, we're going to strip the end of that. Now the wire on the car and the repair kit are two different gauge wires. I don't know why Toyota did this, but the repair kit one is like way thicker. Now you could kind of get like a connector like this and just try to kind of compress both sides to hold it. And that might work. Um, and then you put it in. What I what I found best is I found these, a female and male connector of different sizes, and they fit together perfect because if you want to, you can even just get one of these electrical connectors right here and put a wire on the end of this. It's a it's a standard size uh, 
like little fitment socket you don't have to have this black connector you could make it work without it but um you know i just wanted to show you guys that toyota kit now to check it you just want to check the uh, put a positive lead on the broken wire or the connector at the horn put the negative to the battery and then once you push the horn down that'll complete the circuit and then you should see when you push it about 12 volts at that connector um if you don't then maybe all right guys that's about it i hope this video helped you out thanks for watching Say about this new soap I've been using by a new company called Quantum Soap. It's a men's soap company. They make multiple different bars of soap with their own ingredients and fragrance. They even have a dark matter bar, which is more grittier. If you're a mechanic, you have a lot of dirt and oil in your skin a lot. You can reach them at quantumsoapco.com. Free shipping on orders over $50. These soaps are made in the U.S. with all natural ingredients by hand. No synthetic this, synthetic that. Um, they've been great. They've hooked us up with a Guillermo Auto promo code. So if you head over to the website, type in Guillermo Auto in the checkout, you'll get 10% off. Again, uh, these guys are on Facebook, Instagram. Check them out. Check the links below. Thanks for watching. You're pretty good. Your style is no match for mine.